The Washington Post retracting a headline that accused Attorney General Merrick Garland of politicizing the Justice Department following the FBI raid of former President Trump's home. Yeah, the original headline reads, Garland vowed to depoliticize justice, then the FBI searched Mar-a-Lago, but that was changed to this, quote, FBI search of Mar-a-Lago hmm. lands Merrick Garland in a political firestorm. Joe Concha joins us now. Joe, for a paper with the slogan, Democracy Dies in Darkness, how disingenuous is it to change a headline simply based upon the Twitter mob? Well, apparently, Todd, democracy dies in deletion, right? Uh, the original tweet, by the way, entirely accurate. Many American voters see the raid on Mar-a-Lago as politicized because of the manner in which it was carried out and the fact that Merrick Garland, the attorney general of the United States, refuses to address the American people in any form in terms of why this was done and what was being sought. You don't have to give away the whole investigation, but put out a statement, get in front of a microphone, take some questions, perhaps. Perhaps. And the longer that Merrick Garland is silent, the longer this lingers, the more suspicion will rise, and rightly, because we need transparency here, especially given the fact that the FBI in recent years has shown to be weaponized at the top by the likes of James Comey, Andrew McCabe, Peter Strzok, remember them, and others. And, and, and look, that may not be the case here, but, but the FBI and the DOJ is doing itself no favors by staying silent. Carly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there's this as well, Joe. The Associated Press is all jacked up over the Democrats' climate bill in an article headline, We're Back, Baby. New bill boosts U.S. climate credibility. Here's a quote from the piece. After a moment when hopes dimmed that the United States could become an international leader on climate change legislation that Congress is poised to approve could rejuvenate the country's reputation and bolster its efforts to push other nations to reduce greenhouse gas emissions more mm. quickly. How naive, right? Uh, and let's be clear, this is not an opinion piece. This is a straight news story from the Associated Press. Uh, as far as getting other nations on board, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If the goal is to truly reduce emissions and lower the temperature of the planet until you get India and China and Russia on board, the three biggest polluters on the planet, it's a fool's errand to spend hundreds of billions of dollars here and expecting very much to change. Uh, it's an insult to our collective intelligence uh, to spend those hundreds of billions in a, ball, in a bill, by the way, called the Inflation Reduction Act, which apparently is so successful that already we're at zero inflation in this country, according to the White House yesterday. It's a laughable claim, considering, as you just talked about, it's 8.5 percent higher than it was last year. And if you go to the store, it's even higher in terms of item by item uh, if, you're, if you're looking at just food. So, uh, look, I just, as far as climate change is concerned, you see the press cheering on this sort of spending, but I don't think they realize that that it's not really going to have very much of an impact at all when you don't get the international community on board uh, like India and China. And they're not going to do anything anytime soon because they're, they're looking at the bottom line. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.